Welcome back. Oh, I wasn't filming any of that. I wasn't filming any of that. <laughs> Pro tip, hit record before you start filming. My very good advice to you aspiring YouTubers. Hi. So, hey, how's it going? Welcome back. This is a little bit of a rant video coming your way. This is sort of a dear YouTube, stop screwing over my channel kind of a video. I've been making YouTube content for about 11 years now. You know, on and off, here and there. The theme of my channel has changed hundreds of times, but it's always been kind of more or less mermaid themed. And something really interesting that's been happening recently, I have been sharing shorts. And I know there were some mixed feelings about me sharing shorts on my channel, but I've been having such success over on Instagram with my shorts. We're talking millions, okay? In some cases, hundreds of millions of views. My Instagram grew from, I think I was at like 14k or 13k or something, and I'm up to 125k now, which is impressive for me. I feel like that's, you know, am I the biggest mermaid Instagrammer out there? No, but this is, this is, this is pretty cool, okay? And I figured maybe people on my YouTube channel or just in the YouTube community might also enjoy this kind of content. And in some instances, some of the videos pop off like 50,000, 22,000, no problem. Usually they're settling in at a couple of thousand views and that's fine. That's totally, you know what? That's on brand, okay? <laughs> But something that's been happening to me recently is that YouTube has decided that I am, and I'm gonna have to get the phone so I can quote this bullshit. If you still have a video with comments disabled, we most likely determined that this content can put minors at risk. Read more about it in the article that we've previously shared. Where is the disconnect here? There are literally mermaids out there who are getting millions of views, who are showcasing children specifically in their content, who are not getting their comments disabled. What is this? There are are so many other mermaid channels out there posting shorts, they're not experiencing half of the difficulty that I am with all of this. It is absolutely insane. And for the record, I'm an adult. I'm 35 years old. I'm not a child in those videos. That's me in the mermaid tale. Everyone likes to be like, oh, it's a real mermaid. It's a real girl. Is it real? Oh, it's fake. It's whatever. Yeah, that's literally me. You know, YouTube shorts were supposed to be YouTube's answer to TikTok, I imagine, right? And um, same way that Instagram reels were supposed to be Instagram's answer to uh, the TikTok craze. And frankly, TikTok is anyways such a toxic, scary place that, you know, I enjoy in small doses, very small doses. And I do post some autism content on there. I've got three different accounts on there and I post in different, you know, genre, different things and it's fine. But Instagram seems to be the only place where I just don't get continually screwed over by algorithms, it seems to be. And that's a blessing because honest to goodness, I felt like the majority of my career has been spent trying to figure out Instagram because my goodness, is it complicated? But even my engagement over there, like for having 125K followers, I get like three to four comments on my content. People either don't see it or they just don't care. And it really got me thinking about like, why do we actually post on social media? And I made a post on the community tab talking about this, like what is the actual point of posting to social media. And I used to think like, oh, well, my excuse was, well, I'm promoting my business. But like, am I? Like, am I though? Right? Like, I've never had a problem. People find me. People, people know about my tales. People are ready. Like, I've got wait lists for things out the wazoo. You know, that's never really been the issue here. You know, and then I was like, well, I'm connecting with people. and But I'm not. But I'm not though. Like, I, everything that I seem to say lately has just been complaining about one thing or another. And I hate that for me. I hate that. I hate that this has just become, which is why I'm making a video. I just need to get this off my chest once and for all. But like, it's infuriating. Do you know what I mean? It's infuriating. Like I had a live stream with the Patreon pod and I had to stop like midstream because I just lost my nuggets. Like I lost my Timbits. I was not on it, man. Like I was so mad and I was just letting those guys know. I'm like, this is really pissing me off that like no matter what I'm doing, it just seems like the, the, the strategy is just not the thing. And I know I've taken myself on a bit of a loop here, but like YouTube, what the F are you doing? What are you doing? Your shorts and your censorship of people is absolutely absurd. This does not happen on any other platform that I'm aware of. I'm on TikTok and yeah, sometimes stuff will get like, oh, well, but usually if it's like you're talking about autism or you're talking about mental health, then they shit on you. Or occasionally, um, <laughs> occasionally somebody will think it's sensitive comment because I look like I'm topless, even though I'm always wearing a top of some kind, like, okay, 
it's sure. And I know that some mermaids have had issues on TikTok with it being inappropriate content, despite the fact that it's not inappropriate content. And for me, what really pisses me off, it's, it's, it's like an algorithm with the intelligence, like, hi, algorithm, I know you're watching this probably, right? Like, what the hell? With, a, with an intelligence of four to five, like an AI, that's like a five-year-old making a decision about my business when I have never once intentionally ever shared something and if, if anything ever gets flagged, I review it and it hasn't happened in years, but I will review it immediately and be like, oh my God, like what about this was wrong? Like when they came out with the whole, oh, we all have to tag our stuff if it's made for children. I tagged videos that I hadn't even made, but that children appeared in the background of. I did that myself. Do you know what I mean? Like I went through my content to make sure because I do care, but you cannot tell me that this is the state of things now. I can't even post a video of me swimming in a mermaid tail without having my engagement absolutely squashed because YouTube thinks that it's somehow unsafe for minors? What are minors even doing on your app? That's not my problem, that's yours. Like, parents just, here's the phone, child, be entertained, and that's my fault? I should have to suffer for this? I don't get it. I really, like, I'm at an absolute loss. What, now I, I should start swearing in all my videos? I should just, any mermaid content that I post, I should just put, like, a big F-bomb, like, right at the beginning of it, and that should be how we determine whether or not, like, I, I this, this isn't making any sense. Like, your logic is completely deniable at this point, okay? And then what's worse is then you go to them and you're like, hey, I'd like to know why this is happening and that's their response it's like a human is is making up whatever explanation without even really taking the time to look at the whole scenario and and defending an ai that hasn't got a clue that hasn't got a clue it either applies to all of us or it applies to none of us you cannot just single me out and just decide that it's okay for mermaid a but it's not okay for mermaid b like this has been my story on so many social media platforms that I just can't stand it anymore. Like, I'm absolutely fed the fuck up. Like, where does that leave me? Like, what is the game plan? Like, it has been a long time coming that my channel gets a, a, a hefty overhaul. Like, I have been thinking about it for a long time and I am really starting to feel, and this isn't just based off of what I'm doing personally, but what I'm seeing other creators, there's a few other creators who I follow who are falling into this trap, where YouTube, above and beyond all things is a search platform. It is Google, essentially. Okay, so like nine times out of ten, people are coming onto YouTube to search for something, whether it's how to repair something on their car, what monofin to buy, what, you know, they want to see a review on a health product or they want to see a review on a camera, whatever the hell it is, that's why people are coming to this app. And so it's really gotten me thinking now about the kind of content I'm actually going to put on this particular platform. I have to flip a switch. I have to understand that, as do so many creators, have to understand that this may not be the place for us anymore, okay? Because, like, I see so many other mermaids are like, we used to get thousands of, vi of views on our swimming content. We used to get thousands of views on our vlogs and our things. And I'm lucky if I hit a thousand views in a week. And... Like, my paycheck has reflected that, and it's rough. It's rough, my dudes, especially when you do this as a job. Because of that, it's made us all quite desperate. It's made us all quite, not all of us, obviously. There are some mermaid content creators who are absolutely thriving right now and just doing the thing. But even them, if you go and look, it's their shorts that are popping off. The rest of their content performs just like mine does, despite the f that they have, like, three or four times the following that I do. Like, chew on that for a minute. It's the shorts that are popping off. So when you want to get on the bandwagon and do the shorts thing, and then you're just constantly getting screwed because YouTube has decided that you specifically are a problem when none of these other mermaids are a problem. Like, that's a bit of a piss-off. That's a bit of a piss-off. Anyway, this leaves me feeling like it's time for an absolute shake-up. You know, for a long time, I haven't even really been posting my full kind of mermaid content that I used to post here. I haven't really felt like it's been worth my time and, and frustration, despite the fact that I do really enjoy making the mermaid content, like specifically the swimming content, the adventure content, and that kind of thing. Like, I still really enjoy making that content. But because I am somebody, as I mentioned, I'm autistic, and I have very limited mental resources per week. Very limited. Like, I can get through what I can get through, and that's 
it. And like, it's, I've been in burnout for years now, and I would really like to start healing that. And I don't think that fighting, fighting with what I enjoy versus fighting with what YouTube wants from me, I don't feel like that's, that's not the vibe anymore. Like I can go on to Instagram right now. If it loads, watch, it'll be down as I'm trying to do this. So I posted a little clip of myself. Um, obviously it was the complaining post where I was talking about everything that I'm talking about now. And it has 2000 views. Now that's not great considering that I get stuff, you know, 20,000, 30,000, all the way up to multiple millions of views and that's fine, but not everything's going to be the, 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 the winner. So you have to kind of just roll with what you roll with. But let me tell you over on Instagram or over on YouTube, if I go and look at my shorts, a similar clip in a different, in a different area, slightly different area, 28 views. It's already been up for a day and a half, uh, 28 views. I need for somebody to explain to me <laughs> why, why I can post, I posted on YouTube, the video that got me, I don't know, it's got like, I've posted three times on Instagram and each time it gets about 25 to 30 million views. Okay. It's got 370 views on YouTube, right? They disabled my comments on it because apparently dead mermaid on the beach is dangerous to children. Apparently you, you cannot have this both ways, YouTube. You cannot have it both ways. Either we all get censored out the butthole or none of us do. It's just not fair. And it's just not, it's like, this is my, this is my job. Like, this is my livelihood. This is what I do for a living. I do social media and I make mermaid tales. That's what I do. And it feels so frustrating when I am just getting screwed at every possible turn. Anyways, let's end this on a high note because something that I did when I was kind of about to hit rock bottom was I had asked you guys a while back, what was your reasoning for getting into mermaiding? What do you really love about mermaiding specifically? And boy, if you guys didn't come through for me, let me tell you. You left me 35 really long, really in-depth comments and I printed them all off because you know what? I needed a boost today. Today was not the day. Today was not the day. So size 10 font, um, four pages. And I went through and I highlighted because I was really curious. I was like, is there a trend here? And of the 35 comments, okay, seven referenced a physical reason that they do this, like physical health, um, exercise, and that kind of thing. 11 said a specific love for mermaids. 13 said that it was more ocean-based, that they really loved the water. And 20 references were made to mental health, that specifically you were mermaiding for your mental health, which is incredible to me. It's incredible to me because here I am. <laughs> Ah, screaming into the void because YouTube is single-handedly destroying my mental well-being, okay? And you guys are telling me that that mermaiding is what keeps you sane. And I absolutely love that for you. I absolutely love that for you. And that's what it used to do for me. Taking the time to actually go through all of these comments. I read every single one. It took me right back to why I got into mermaiding. Like what was the whole reason that I did this and why did I turn it into a job and what was the whole plan? And it was because of every single thing that you guys mentioned. It was every single thing that you guys mentioned. It's like you just, you slingshot me right back into reality. And I really appreciate that a lot. Now that said, my content on here is still probably going to change because I don't think YouTube gives two shits. I really don't. And I do feel like there are other platforms where my message might be better served and might reach more of you on a more consistent basis and might actually allow for a conversation to be had about anything ever. I'm humming and hawing. I definitely am. And I am definitely taking the time this month, we're in November now, to reassess kind of where I'm at. What are some of the things that I'm doing to kind of get myself back on track mentally alongside my business and all of these things. But I do want to take the time to say thank you. I do want to take this opportunity to say thank you to those of you who left comments and to those of you who engage regularly with my content. Even if you're unable to say purchase from my shop or support me in any kind of a financial aspect, just so that you guys know that just even leaving me a, a short comment on a video or giving it a thumbs up or subscribing to the channel does actually really let YouTube know that my content is something worth watching. And if you genuinely hate my stuff, that's fine too, <laughs> you know, but interact in some way so that I know, I guess. And otherwise, if you 
I don't even want to say if you enjoyed today's video, but if you'd like to see me not sync on YouTube, be sure to give this a big thumbs up. Do subscribe because I will be pivoting my channel more towards what has been discussed and and I think it's going to be for the best. I think it's going to be for the best. So if you made it to the end of this video, like my hat off to you. I really appreciate your time and your patience with me as I go through this journey. And I look forward to hopefully catching you all again in another new video soon. All right, that's it, my fishes. Happy swimming. Bye.